everyone, how's it going? It's Shani today here and welcome back to... I haven't done a creator sim video or a cast video in such a long time and I recently decided to throw a stream up and I created a family on stream and this is just a speed run, speed, it's not even speed build, it's, it's speed cast of me making the Umbrella Academy cast. So uh, if you're not familiar with Umbrella Academy, it's a really cool series on Netflix, hashtag not sponsored. I'm a huge fan of this series, even contemplating getting a tattoo based on this series. That's how much I've fallen in love with it. There is only currently one season, but I've fallen in love with all of these characters for different reasons. And I was like, I'm gonna make them in The Sims. So I have made them on Sims 4 console, so there is no custom content, but the idea is I get to make them with just base game slash the packs that I have but without custom content for starters and then I can move them over into my PC game where I've got a bunch of custom content and make improvements. So that's the plan with this video. I am going to sit back and let voiceover shiny take it away because I did do this on stream and I did help use the help of my viewers. I will see you guys again in the outro. So I've tried recording this voiceover a couple of times just to squeeze in as much about each character that you need to know as possible when I've realized I have all of the screen time that I can just put character traits on the screen. So I'm just going to talk you through my process of Luther was probably the most difficult for me to get correct in game without any custom content obviously since the console doesn't support it uh, so i've mostly struggled with his hair and the hair color because it's kind of a mix between a very dirty blonde slash light brown but like a mousy brown so it's not quite 100 percent in what I managed to get here. I'm very stoked about the jacket. I mean, it's not 100%, but I tried to base these as close to screenshots uh, from the series as possible. And I, you know, I used some creative license for some of the stuff because I am working with only the things that are in base game slash all of the packs. Diego, on the other hand, because of all the packs that I've got installed, I actually had a little bit more leeway. Um, I tried to get as close to like his little spandex. Well, it's not spandex, but it's basically spandex because it's a lot of leather and a lot of like weird holts, holsters with knives and guns and everything. And I had to add the scar. Um, it's not 100% the scar, but it works nonetheless. Um, something to look at with the custom content, definitely. Um, but I definitely think I got the hair, except for like the shaved bit on the side, I would have liked to do a little bit more of a fade. But as for the clothes, I was actually super surprised. A lot of the stuff is from the Get Famous pack, if I'm not mistaken. And I actually really ended up loving a lot of the things, just purely because it's so like anti, no, visual anti type vibes that the Diego is known and loved for, of course. Uh, Allison was super easy. I find creating female characters for me is so much easier than creating males. Um, and also, please don't judge my actual like facial morphing to look like and represent the actual actor and actress because, ugh, um, I just, I'm not so great at it, okay? I tried. It's inspired by. The only thing that annoyed me with her hair is that I couldn't change the root color. I remember you could do that in Sims 3 and you can go super into detail. Klaus, however, favorite character in the series. I could have dressed him in anything in The Sims and would have been on brand. So I think between him and Allison, they're fighting for first place on who I dressed better or slash closer to the character, um, especially from like screenshots in the series. I love Klaus, he's crazy, he's completely wacko, completely out there. I also do like that they introduced a homosexual character, obviously, um, and it's, it's he's just so great. Robin Sheehan is so talented, and you would never guess if you didn't know him that he's Irish, and he pulls off this this American junkie so well, and I have to put him in Allison's skirt, because come on, how iconic is that scene? Five, of course, I find the children are very limited in The Sims without content, well, with mods, so I find it super, super limited. Uh, so I tried to do the best with what I had. I was particularly upset that they didn't really have like any school uniforms or like blazers. Like the, if, he, if he had been in a teen or a young adult, I would have been able to dress him a lot closer to how he usually dresses in the series. Ben, I actually pulled the ghost from the gallery and this is not actually, I'm gonna cut his, his um, design pieces because I actually redid him off camera and I'll show you at the very end. This is Vanya. Um, obviously, how the hell are you re supposed to recreate Ellen Page in the Flippin' Sims, right? Uh, but I tried to do it as close as possible. Um, I also didn't like how I ended up dressing her and I do change it for the for the final reveal. Um, and then of course I've got to do Grace because I have eight slots in the household and I decided, hang on, if we're gonna do this Housewives vibes, we're gonna have to do Grace rather than, I couldn't exactly do Pogo, right? And I wouldn't want to do Reginald Hardgreaves either because Grace is just so much more of a fun character with more options and availability in The Sims. So 
This is my look at mom. And then just a final look, a slower, less crazy, less frantic look at my high griefs family that I've created. Obviously, Luther, a very big and bulky guy. I try to bring that across, but it's as close to it what is represented in the series that I could get for now. We move over to Diego. I had to make him mischievous. Mis mischievous? I had to make him mischievous. I couldn't exactly make him like, I don't know, having fit, dropped out of the police academy and all of that. Like, there's no trait for that, but I try to get it as close to it as possible. Alison probably hits the mark for me the hardest, apart from Klaus. Um, but the only thing I would change about Alison currently, even without custom content, I would change is the hair. So I do miss in Sims 3 where you're able to do the the dif differences in like your root color, your highlight color. But because her hair is predominantly blonde, I thought it would be a better representation to have her have blonde hair than have her have darker hair. Because then it wouldn't really look like her from like a screenshot when you glance at it kind of thing. And then if we move on to Klaus, Klaus, my absolute favorite, gorgeous, lovely, amazing. Everything about this character is so incredible in this series. He really adds so much dimension. And of course, because he and Ben slash number six are so interwoven to one another. Um, I, I, there were so many iconic looks that I could have recreated in The Sims, as I said. I could have put him in anything and it would have been on brand for Klaus. But I, when I saw the skirts, I had to be like, I, I have to put him in the skirt because once again, you look at the screenshot from far away and you glance at it, you're gonna know who I've created here. And Klaus was one of those that was just so easy. You make super pale, give him really strong defined features, <laughs> put some eyeliner on him and then put him in whatever he wants to wear. He will rock it regardless. Five was a lot more difficult to make based off of having such limited content for children in The Sims without any custom content. Uh, but I got him as close to school uniform as possible. Uh, there, there is a moment, however, where the character does kind of smile in the game. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's as close to like the dimpled, chiseled kind of smile. There we go. That's the one uh, that um, Aiden Gallagher can pull off so well, obviously because of his genetics. Then Ben, obviously I said I redid Ben for the final kind of reveal. And this, this is pretty much how I ended up with Ben. Um, his death is covered by a lot of mystery. Like, we don't know exactly how we died, but we know on the tombstone that it says, we hope that the darkness inside you finds peace in the light or something along those lines. I'm quoting completely off the fly here, so I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, but I was really stoked that my chat actually said, pull, cause I was just gonna create the sim, take them into the world and then cheat to make him a ghost. And then the chat was like, why didn't you just pull someone from the gallery that's already a ghost? I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that makes so much more sense. And we move on to Vanya. I ended up redressing her because I didn't quite like how I dressed her originally. I was more dressing for Juno than I was dressing for, um, for Vanya Hargreaves. But obviously, if you watch the series, you know where Vanya ends up going. And I would have dressed her in that specific attire right at the very end. But obviously, if you haven't watched it, that wouldn't make sense. So I've kind of dressed her in something like this. I would have liked to make it slightly less fitted, um, but that'll have to come in with custom content. I'm also not 100% happy with the hair. And then finally, obviously, we got to talk about Grace. We got to talk about Mom. I absolutely loved how she turned out. I didn't actually think I'd be able to hit the mark. Personally, I think I hit the mark at least. I didn't think I'd be able to hit the mark as much as I did. I would have liked to make the dress slightly more poofy and cupcakey, um, like that really like housewivesy kind of feeling. So that's the video. I really had fun doing this on stream, and I'd like to hear from you if you guys would like to see me do more of this kind of stuff in the future. Um, I have done a build on stream previously as well, but that's for someone else's video on someone else's channel. Um, I will make sure to link that to you when it is live. Uh, but I thoroughly. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed making these characters. Klaus is 100% my favorite, followed closely by maybe Mom slash Grace or I don't know, maybe Allison. I don't know, but Klaus, 100% would marry Klaus if I could. But that is going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to give that like, subscribe if you are new around here. Remember that we all human differently, and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.